All right, we've got Rangers and Orioles. I apologize. I have not been keeping up with the recaps lately. The Rangers have just been so hard to watch. But for the Orioles, we've got Cole Irvin, Marcus Simeon up first. He's going to fly one deep to left field, and it is caught by Austin Hayes. That's a home run all day with the old wall, but the wall's just too far back now. I don't get why they ever moved that wall. That was a terrible decision. Um, so Simeon flies out, just the unluckiness continues for the Rangers, but a nice play by Austin Hayes. So next up, Josh Smith here. Uh, Smith's been the best player for the Rangers this year. And Cole Irvin, he'll deal a 3-1. That hits Smith. Well, after review, it looks like it actually hit Smith's bat. You can see right there, definitely hit the bat. So we'll go to a 3-2 count instead. And so Smith, no big deal. He'll line one. And more unluckiness for the Rangers. Jordan Westberg makes that catch, so now two out. Smith can't believe it, but he'll go back to the dugout. You can see a line drive bullet, and Westberg just an amazing catch over there at third to go out and get that one. I mean, just full extension. That's, that's great stuff from Westberg. All right, Robbie Grossman up next. Cole Irvin, curveball, see you later. Beautiful pitch from Cole Irvin. So for the Rangers, we've got Andrew Heaney, the consistently meh Andrew Heaney. And first batter, Gunnar Henderson, strikes out. 94-mile-an-hour fastball. That's about as hard as Heaney's going to throw a fastball. Dots the corner. That's a perfect pitch. Um, Heaney looked incredible tonight. Um, so he strikes out Gunner. Then we got Adley Rutschman at the plate. He's going to throw a back foot slider, and Adley swings and misses, but Andrew Kisner is so bad behind the plate, he can't grab that one. So a strikeout, but Rutschman reaches on the drop third strike. Andrew Kisner, I mean, what a dreadful season he's had for the Rangers. Next up, Anthony Santander, and he has been red hot lately. The best hitter on the Orioles in June and he's going to come up here, hits one deep to left field, and once again, the big wall strikes again too far out there, and Santander flies out. As you can see, he barrels this one up. Really nice job of hitting that one, but nice job by Wyatt to get it. But again, with the old wall, that is a home run, so I believe they said it would have been a homer in 23 ballparks, so that sucks for Santander. But Westberg will ground out. And that's the end of the inning. We go to the top of the second. Derek Hill at the plate. And he's been pretty hot for the Rangers lately. And he's going to keep that up. Deep left center field. And this one is going to clear the big wall. Somebody finally cleared that wall out there. I mean, this series, a bunch of guys have tried it. I believe Adolis did it, but it was like down the line, so it didn't really count. Next inning, Ryan O'Hearn into center field. He's going to cut the Rangers' lead in half. It's now 2-1. to one. Austin Hayes scores, and a very nice job by O'Hearn to cut the lead in half. Next up, Wyatt Langford, deep left field. Again, another just dead ball out there. I mean, another one. It would have been a home run with the old wall, 100%. But Langford doesn't care. Austin Hayes just gets lost here in left field. Just turned around, can't make the catch, and hits the wall. And meanwhile, Langford's just sprinting around the bases at a rapid pace. He's into third base. And so, Langford, I mean, red hot he's been. And Nathaniel Lowe, he's been heating up. He's had a really nice series. He'll drive Langford in. Nice hitting there. And then Andrew Kisner makes up for the mistake earlier. Gets an RBI double. And Cole Irvin, he's been struggling lately after a great start. Continues to struggle. Josh Smith will keep up the struggle bus for Cole Irvin. 5-1 to one Rangers. But Heston Kerstad, um, I believe from Texas, makes it 5-2. to two. Austin Hayes scores yet again. Um, grid hitting there from Heston Kerstad. You can see he just kind of went with it in the left field. Um, I really like what Kerstad brings to the table for the Orioles. You can see... Looked like a breaking ball away, and he just swats it into left field. Very nice hitting. Heaney would get out of the inning. And we've got Langford. Not too long after, he'll line one into right center field. Looks like it'll be a single. Langford says, nope, I'm going to second. Speed demon he is, Wyatt Langford. Just amazing. 
I mean, just look at that. He's got great power, but also that speed tool. Then Nathaniel Lowe, he's going to drive home another run. He continues to stay hot. Langford races home. And Lowe going to second. He's called safe. I don't know about that. And they're going to go to review. And you can see, out. But that's okay. Derrick Hill, deep left center field. Goodbye. 8-2. to two. Derrick Hill, another home run. That's three homers in two games. Then, eighth inning, Wyatt Langford, the cycle. I mean, wow, you can't say enough about how good this kid's been lately. Just clobbers a slider up in the zone. and Wow. Ninth inning, Gunnar Henderson on deck. Colton Kowser at the plate. Gunnar's got a 36-game on base streak, but he's got the golden sombrero tonight. Four strikeouts all by Heaney, and Urania strikes out Kowser, and Gunnar's on base streak ends as the Rangers win 11-2.